Welcome to Narish Technologies. I am Manga Raju and uh, this is the part 6 uh, video of multi threading. So, in this video, uh, I will demonstrate to you about uh, thread priorities. So, what are these thread priorities? Right now, in multi threading, there are multiple threads which are executing the program. So, we have till now just checked out multiple examples here how to just use threads and call the methods. So, we are just going to uh, create multiple threads and call the methods and all these threads are executing uh, based on time sharing. Um, suppose if at all we have two threads performing two different actions and these two threads are calling two different methods and these methods are going to load some data from database something. So, in this scenario if one thread has if one thread has more work to do than the second thread if the one thread is going to have more work to do the second thread or the second thread is going to have more thread to do than the first work we can set these priorities so first let me show you them and so that we'll understand about this t1 dot priority it's a property and for this property we can set with five different values and these are defined for you under enum called as thread priority and there are five different priority levels for a thread what are the five levels normal lowest highest below normal above normal and remember by default every thread is going to run for us in a normal priority normal priority means if you have three threads all the three threads are running in the normal priority and utilizing the cpu resources equally but you can set this priority levels now so how you can set the priority level you can go for below normal above normal and the lowest as well as highest you notice this lowest is the least priority and then we have below normal and then we have normal and then above normal and finally the highest so the five levels are like this thread priorities so lowest below normal above normal highest and this is the default priority level so now by default all the threads which are running in the program will run for this priority level only so all are going to consume the CPU resources equally you will not find any variation at all but we can change these priorities we can change the priorities so that the thread which is going to have the highest priority will consume more CPU resources when compared with the other levels so if at all you set the highest that will consume more CPU resources second place goes to above normal third normal four below normal and lowest will be using the least CPU resources so that is what so when you have two methods to call by using two separate threads and the first method is going to have more work to do when compared with the second one in such type of scenarios you can set this particular priorities so once you set the priorities what will happen the second thread will be given more CPU resources to consume when compared with the first thread because the second method has more work to do when compared with the first method. Let us see this practically. Just to understand about the priorities, let me first add a class. I will name the class as thread priorities, thread priorities dot cs is my class and I am importing the system dot threading namespace using system dot threading fine a very simple code to just understand the priorities let me declare two static long variables count one is equals to zero no need default value I already know that it is zero count two, two long variables and now let me write two methods public static void increment count one and in this method I am writing a while loop while true 
what this an indefinite loop and in this loop what I am doing is count 1 plus equals to 1. I am using an indefinite loop and incrementing the count variable. Next one more method. So, right now these two are running in the indefinite loop. Remember we are running them in indefinite loop right now. Let us come to the main method static void main and in the main method I wanted to create a two threads and call these two methods increment count 1 increment count 2. These two methods I want to call by using two threads. So, let us just go for creating two thread class instances thread t1 is equals to new thread and let us pass the first method name thread t2 is equals to new thread t1 dot start and t2 dot start. Right now these two are running in indefinite loop when these are running in indefinite loop they will keep on incrementing they will never stop at all. So, I want to stop them how can we stop a thread um, if at all you want to stop a thread the thread class provides us a method called as abort by calling this method we can literally terminate a thread. So, t1 dot abort what the abort method is going to do. So, let us understand what the abort method is going to do when I call abort what it does say um, raises and thread abort exception in the thread on which it is invoked to begin the process of terminating the thread while also providing exception information about the thread termination calling this method usually terminates the thread. So, if at all you are going to call this simply speaking it is going to terminate your thread. So, t1 dot abort t2 dot abort but see here we are starting the thread and immediately aborting the thread. Why am I aborting the thread? The reason is because these two are indefinite loops. The loop will never stop here. If you leave it like this, they will keep on running and a point of time will get an overflow there. So, without that what I am doing is I am just trying to abort the threads, but I do not want to abort the threads immediately. I want them to execute for 10 seconds let them execute for 10 seconds and uh, after executing for 10 seconds then I want to go for aborting ok. How to make um, them to execute for 10 seconds actually right now this code is present under main who is going to execute this code main method main method is going to execute the appropriate code. So, if you can make the main thread to sleep for 10 seconds the problem solved now. So, what to do? Let them start and after starting what I am doing console dot right line main method or main thread going to sleep. I am going to make the main thread to sleep now. How much time thread dot sleep 10 seconds and after that console dot right line main thread woke up main thread woke up you see now thread instance is created the two threads are started and after starting the threads main method is or main thread is going to sleep for 10 seconds and after the 10 seconds main thread wakes up and once the main thread woke up what it is going to do is it is going to abort the two threads terminates the two threads and after aborting ok I just wanted to call t1 dot join t2 dot join. So, I am making the main thread to wait until the whole processing is completed and next to that finally here let me see console dot right line count to 1 plus count 1 value the value of count 1 and at the same time count 2 the value of count 2 console dot fine. So, if you just notice so starts from main method two new threads are created afterwards what is going to happen the two threads are starting the execution then 
main thread is going to sleep for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds main thread will woke up and now it will abort the two threads and now you are just calling join here and after calling join I am just uh, trying to print the result ok run this code. Right now these two threads are executing with the same priority. So, because they are executing with the same priority the count 1 value count 2 value which value is going to be higher we do not know we cannot tell means if at all you try to execute for multiple times sometimes count 1 value may be higher and sometimes count 2 value may be higher that is not in our control. The reason for this is because both are executing with the similar priority. So, we do not find much difference and if you execute for the next time you may not get the same result. So, at the time count 2 value may be higher. So, why like this means because they are executing by using the same priority, but see what I am doing now. These two threads after creation I am going to set a priority T1 dot priority is equals to thread priority dot lowest and T2 dot priority is equals to thread priority dot highest. I am giving the highest priority for thread 2. In this scenario if you just check it out your count 2 value must be higher now. Why? Because T2 is going to execute with the highest priority, executing with the highest priority in the sense this particular method will consume the more CPU resources to run now and discount value must be higher. Let us run. You can see here count 2 is higher when compared with count 1. You execute for multiple times now maximum you will be noticing count 2 value will be higher when compared with count 1, but earlier when you just noticed count 1 is higher count 2 is less, but in the normal priority count 1 count 2 which value is going to be higher I cannot tell, we do not know, but now I can clearly tell you what is it count 2 value will be higher when compared with the count 1 because thread 2 is running with the highest priority. So, whenever you are developing a multi threaded application, suppose if at all a thread, I am sorry, if at all a method has to perform more work when compared with the second method. So, what you can just do is you can just give the more priority for the thread which is executing the method. So, advantage it will consume more CPU resources when compared with the second one. So, that is the advantage what you will be getting. So, when do we do, do this generally means if the method is going to have more work to do, but to simulate the things I was just showing you an incrementing variable for you and in this incrementing variable I was just trying to show you the priorities now. So, when I set the priorities because this is running with the least priority, it is utilizing the lesser CPU resources when compared with the second one and the second one is running with the highest priority. So, it is consuming the more CPU resources. So, this is the process how you can set the priorities. So, you have multiple threads use the setting the priorities. If you do not set anything both are going to be the normal priority. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.